Hey guys, so Nerotim here, back again as always with yet another artsy video. So today I'll be doing the 20 art styles challenge and for that I'll be using Melanie Martinez because she has very recognizable style, very sweet personality and her music is pretty awesome, so I guess why not? First style I'll be counting is my own style and since I still do not have my own specific style I just drew her the way I felt like drawing her that day and I didn't film that because I don't know why. To be honest I just thought it's not that interesting so I just put the picture in the beginning so you could see it. And that will be my reference point for all the other drawings I'll be doing. Okay so the second style is of course Adventure Time because it's so popular, so iconic and every art style challenge video has it. And I did uh, draw myself in five cartoon styles challenge before and I used Adventure Time as well because it's just so simple and so beautiful and so silly. And Melanie Martinez looks awesome in it because, she, well, she's that kind of character, you know? Very childish, very cute, very, you know, crazy, I guess. And I loved, like, doing all the small details around her and Everything just was super fun for a first style to do it. It was a great start and I loved it Then second style is the Simpsons and of course I could have done her more like Melanie Martinez, but I want to keep that iconic Simpsons styles uh, So I just took the Simpsons family photo and tried to come up with something because I know that Simpsons do make like skin tones different to different characters uh, in order to make a certain character but I just really really wanted to do that iconic very recognizable Simpson style. So I went with a yellow skin and the features that Simpson family has. So I guess that looks kind of like Melanie Martinez, but more mature, older and more Simpson-like, you know. Next style is by this awesome man and the style is super, super, super fun to do because all my life I always was a fan of creepy stuff. I love Halloween and I just love creepypasta and Tim Burton makes awesome, awesome, awesome stuff and I really enjoy doing it myself. I really love how I made her little teeth yellow and overall that dead look in her eyes. It was just, you know, Melanie Martinez is very, very like young, cute and childish and the style made her look like a dead doll like a creepy doll from some kind of horror movie, so that looks really, really awesome, at least for me. So, next style is Gravity Falls, and I never saw the show, so it was pretty hard for me to actually make something, because I wasn't sure how the characters look. Everything I knew was from Google, and you know Google is sometimes very, like, unspecific, so I just took some kind of group photo of all the characters and tried to combine something into one, and then add some Melanie Martinez features like her hair and you know her her accessories and I hoped for the best and I don't know I think it turned out pretty well and I'm still not sure if I captured that Gravity Falls style but I really hope I did. Then of course Disney and I know Disney has something like gazillion styles uh, so we have that Mickey Mouse old one, then we have the princesses, then we have a modern nowadays style and the one I love the most is of course Disney princesses because they look super cute and I just love something about that style and I took Ariel because that is my favorite princess ever and tried to reference her and just add Melanie Martinez, you know, uh, accessories and parts like hair, you know, and just make it look like her and I think it turned out pretty cute. I think the style really suits her. Okay, Steven Universe, one more show I didn't see to be honest, but I'm planning because it looks really interesting and I'm really sorry to all the fans out there if I didn't capture the style right, if this looks nothing like a Steven Universe character, but I really tried my best. So once again, like took like different characters, tried to combine something and those characters are really damn different. Also, the reference uh, photos from Google are very different from the actual show characters for some reason. 
I guess most of them are fan art, so it was really hard figuring out uh, which references to use. So I guess this is what you get. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, next is Teen Titans and OMG, I love this show so much. And as a kid, I watched it all the time and I would still do it because it's like really, really well animated and the story is awesome, the characters are awesome. And I had a rough time of choosing which character to reference, but in the end, of course, I took Starfire because she's one of the main characters and I also love this character. I think she's so beautiful and I think the style suited Melanie Martinez very well and I really enjoyed doing this. Next is the Flintstones and this is like super, super, super old show and... I don't know, most of you probably won't even know it because I know my audience are pretty young and this show is just like super old. I feel so old for knowing this and still I really really love this show. I remember as a kid I watched it all the time and now I'm drawing it for like in the memory of the show, you know? and I added like some cute bones in her hair because that story is like the Stone Age and like little bones are like one of the main accessories in that show and I thought that would suit Melanie Martinez so well and I don't know, I think it turned out pretty cute. I was hesitant about the skin color. Also, her style don't really match the old days. I don't think that people in Stone Age had like purple hair and black hair. You know, um, but still, I think it's not very cute. Okay, this one is super exciting because it's Sailor Moon and I simply love this show and this style was one of my favorites to draw because it turned out pretty awesome in my opinion and this show was one of the first animes I saw, maybe even the first one and it really made me want to draw and inspired me so much so I'm really happy to draw in this style once again because all of my artistic childhood was based on Sailor Moon and also Dragon Ball so I get some nostalgic feels and I remember all my old Sailor Moon drawings and how awful they were. And it's so crazy to see how accurately I can draw in that style now. So I guess practice makes perfect. Next one is like really different from all of these styles that I did because it's by Mark Riley and it's from Mickey Falls. So I use Mickey for a reference. I own mangas and I love them. So Mark Riley is a famous YouTuber and he's like one of the biggest inspirations for me because he was the one who made me start YouTube and he was the one who actually saw my first video, shared it and commented it and I'm still proud of it so much that my senpai noticed me, you know? And it really made a big impact uh, on my self-esteem as an artist. I was something like 14 years old when he noticed me and that really really made a huge like boom in my head and from that day I decided that I want to dedicate my life to YouTube and the art itself. So thank you Mark really so much. Next style is Dragon Ball and I used Bulma for a reference and you know for younger Bulma because Melanie Martinez is pretty damn young so I thought that would work and since I don't really have anything to say about the style besides the fact that it was pretty damn hard because it had a lot of details especially in the hair I will tell you a story, the fun fact about me. I was so in love with Goku when I was a kid and I remember when he got young again in the show. I was like super damn sad because I liked the strong old Goku, you know, the manly one. I think that fact is pretty creepy for a kid. I was like 8 or 10 or something like that, so yeah, the weird me. Okay, so next one is Puka and this show is so adorable. The characters are so cute and tiny and small and so minimalistic, so that is the reason I didn't add any tattoos on her. Uh, in every picture I added like on the shoulder, the only one tattoo that showed up in almost all the pictures. But in this one I didn't add any because the tattoos are a pretty detailed thing and it would look stupid. And I didn't want to make like color blobs, I tried but it looked like like stupid so I just kept it clean with no tattoos so I hope that is a good choice and nobody will bug me about that <laughs> so yeah next style is gorillas and 
This is pretty cool and edgy style and I like doing it, but it was pretty hard. Good thing I found some kind of like reference in the internet, but I think it's some kind of fan art. Like this character doesn't even exist because I'm not a big fan of gorillas. I don't really know how that thing works and what that is. Uh, at one day I got a comment under my draw myself in five cartoon styles challenge video. Oh my god, that that uh, title is so long. So I got uh, like a request of drawing gorilla style, and this is how I came up with this idea at this video. And so uh, basically, uh, I decided to make it because it's cool. So yeah. Next one is Samurai Jack, and I used to love this a lot as well. And uh, it was pretty hard to do because they don't really have female characters. Well, we have some, but those are not the main ones, so they aren't very iconic looking. So I just found a reference, a perfect reference for this. There was uh, this female character that was made from a main character, Jack, and I used that as a reference. And what I struggled the most was, uh, since this uh, like style doesn't have a line work, it's uh, like made out of shapes, I had like a rough time of figuring out what colors to use because the ones I used on the other drawings were like too light. So the character looked very unfinished in the end, so I had to adjust all the colors to make it work. But in the end, I think it worked, so yeah, cool. Oh, it started raining outside and so heavily. Oh my god. So I guess the storm is coming. So next style is Powerpuff Girls, and this style is very iconic and everybody knows it. And these girls are just super awesome. And I know Melanie Martinez is like older than them and probably I should have taken the older characters as reference but I really wanted to make her as one of the Powerpuff Girls, you know? And everybody does that when they do this style so I guess, yeah, it will work. And the hard part of this was the shapes. I hate doing shapes in Photoshop and it's really hard and I still didn't figure out how to do it well so that was pain in the butt, I can tell ya. Uh, next style is Ed, Ed and Eddie and I'm not sure do you pronounce every name differently or not because in my country, in my language, we do pronounce every name differently so if it's Ed, Ed or something different, I'm not sure, please correct me if I'm wrong. So this style was challenging and easy at the same time because as you can see, those lines are so shaky, so messy and if you're doing this drunk, it's perfect. And if you're not drunk, then that's challenging because I'm so used to like trying to make these perfect lines and once I had a chance to do everything like loose, I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. Okay, so next style is Wings Club. And to be honest, I never liked the style, I never liked the show because I was never into girly stuff, I never played Barbies or anything like that and I thought that Wings Club is like the one of the girliest shows ever and I thought it's stupid and I went against it and now as I'm older I think it was pretty stupid and I like the style, it's pretty cute, it's of course it's girly but it's cute and I like the eyes, I think the style has like its own unique twist on it and I enjoyed doing it and I think it turned out pretty great and pretty cute. And it suits Melanie Martinez quite well in my opinion. Next style is South Park and oh damn I don't like doing this style at all because once again it's based on shapes, it's very minimalistic and most of the South Park characters have pretty dark like uh, color palettes and I had pretty light palettes so once again I faced the trouble of uh, making the colors darker in order to give shape to my character and to make it stand out a little and since it didn't have the outline it made everything even harder so damn this was hard I was so confused on what to do and how to do everything so yeah this was total mess and I don't know maybe in the end it's cute but it it was just too hard for me I don't know uh, Okay, and finally the last one. I can't believe how long this video is and if you stayed until now, please comment, I don't know, tell me. 
because it's crazy so I'm tired myself and I can't believe I commented over 19 styles already so yeah the last one Yu-Gi-Oh so not much to say just the fact that I chose some kind of character from Yu-Gi-Oh to reference I don't know her name I can't remember so I don't know just Based on her, I made everything, the eyes, the face shape and added the Melanie Martinez, you know, colors and made everything as edgy as I could. Maybe I needed to do the figure lines, but oh well, I cannot change anything now, so this is what you get. So yeah, the final style, Yu-Gi-Oh! So thank you a lot guys for watching, thank you for listening and staying with me until the end, I guess. Bye!